Hey yo, welcome to the Battlefield everybody. I'm your host Monk, and we're playing Star Wars Destiny on Tabletop Simulator. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and try out this deck that I made on um, Patreon. I did a nice little video uh, on the deck building for this. Uh, it looks like he needs three more minutes, so I'm going to go into a couple of things. Um, uh, so the Palpatine deck is all about trying to do damage as quick as possible. That's pretty much all it is. Um, it has a couple of zero cost upgrades. I don't even have Sith Holocron in this deck, but that's what it's going for, and that's the whole thing. So, I am recording right now, like I wasn't even planning on doing it, I was just doing some test games, but I just beat Sabine Ezra with help. It's real talk, it's real talk. Look, look at this chat, look at this chat. He was even calling Pop OP. Come on, guys. So, I want to see if it's a fluke. I'm gonna record this one, try to see if it if it is legit. Um, if it is, then fantastic. If it's not, eh, what can you do, right? Um, uh, you know, Star Wars Destiny has always been just the, um, well, luck-based game, right? So it could have just been all lucky for me last, this last turn. I didn't even uh, roll that much damage, to be honest. But uh, while we're waiting, might as well drop the five cards and go from there. Ooh, nope, nope, nope. We don't want any of that. I'll probably keep the mitigation, but that's really about it. That's a whole lot better. A Force Illusion is key against Sabine. Oh my god, that... Yeah, it has to be. I, got, I even got a Swiftness aim play that I can do. If I don't use Feel Your Anger against his die. Just depending on how many weapons he has in his hand. Um, I was able to get rid of his dive with failure hangers and stuff like that this last round. So I'm really hoping so that we can be able to do it. Um, if you didn't watch my video or do you have access to that video, um, again, you can just uh, uh, access it at Patreon. My, uh, my Patreon and the link below. Or um, um, or in general, just have me uh, watch me play it and kind of stuff too. So. Um, I just really want Palpatine to be, be meta, you know what I mean? So I'm going to try my hardest to do it. Uh, I did choose main pause again. That's just like my favorite battlefield for Palpatine. Um, you're one character. All right, add that to swiftness plays and to uh, four speed. Um, no matter what, you're going to be kind of outpacing your, your, your opponent, unless you're playing like Sabine Ezra. But that's a whole different story. But if you're able to play this, then you can take one damage off of him, healing him. And then if you keep uh, being able to claim, then you can just deal all that damage that you have on this freaking thing onto a character, just for extra damage. Um, I also have Fortify for that extra shield. It's pretty much a must-have, other than the the plot that gives you two additional uh, on your roll-off. To me, I don't think the roll-off is really that big of a deal. Um, again, maybe against Sabine Ezra, but uh, that's really about it. Every other kind of matchup doesn't really need it. Um, but yeah, that's that's really my my shindig. Uh, this being said, since we're still waiting, uh, thank you so much, everybody, everybody, uh, for doing this. Oh, he's back! Thank you so much for top uh, top deck TCG. Thank you so much for my patreons. Thank you so much for Captain Nemo Games. Only got one. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Thank you so much to the likers. So much. Thank you so much to the doubters. Oh, he's actually going to use mine. Okay. It's unblockable, right? Yep, this is more shields. I'll take it. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and roll out Palpatine. Again, you always want to roll him out, like, first. Oh, yeah. No matter what, because... Oh, I really want to do... Oh, am I going to do it? I'm going to do it. Alright, so I'm going to pay two. All right, so I'm going to Swiftness, aim, and do I want to kill Ezra? No, I, I'm going to do, six straight to Sabine's face. Gonna get a resource. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, sorry. Um, 
real fast. Um, so yeah, that that was actually the best thing I could have ever done. Um, and I still have a doubt as a just in case. Oh, he discarded the girl. Good. No, no pew pew on Ezra. Uh, I've been hearing what you guys have been putting on the comments. I mean, you guys want me to start um, um, getting on the desk a little bit more. So I'm going to try to do that a little bit better. I'm going to get an X Knight Sniper up. going to roll in. See what the Ezra can do. Or the Sabine can do. Two damage. Alright, he can do five. Yep, five to me. Four to my eight so far. He has four cards in his hand, so he might discard reroll. I'm gonna pass. I know you have something to discard to reroll. What do you wanna do? Really? You're gonna claim. Very interesting. I'm guessing you're gonna take a damage off. No, just take Okay, yeah. You only smalls. Alright, but um so big shout out to Janies or Janez95. Thank you so much for the game though. Uh he is claiming, so I did not expect that. Not at all. But, ooh, force speed. I'll take it. Alright, so he's gonna go now. Like, I would have thought, like, I don't know, expert uh, Sabine player or something like that. Probably want to discard to reroll that, then discard one of their weapons. So then they can go ahead and do it. You know what I mean? I don't know. That, that's me, though. I'm gonna play four speed. The only time you ever want to play an upgrade is if it is a zero cost. And then you go and roll out Palpatine. I just don't like it, in fact, because it just slows it down so much by putting out an upgrade. He doesn't have a discard to reroll. You do not have weapons. That's not going to be good for you. Oh, you have a DL. He has a DL in his hand. That's what's going on. Gonna roll out the Palpatine. The ultimate blinks. Nice. So good for me. See, and of course, it's gonna happen right when uh, when I'm actually recording now. I was actually able to get like every, at least something resolvable this last game. I've already done seven damage. He's only done four. Uh, seven out of 18, right? Play from, from hand. Paying its cost. Okay. You're paying one. Yep. I'm going to get rid of one. So I'll get rid of this. Oh, now it turns out a special one. I have to throw it around. Wait. Uh, play. Welcome from your hand. On one of your characters. You may activate the character. Okay. Yep, he has two more actions after this. That's a pretty OP card for Sabine. Three. There's no money. We can do four. Right? Yeah, he can do four. What's going on? You gonna discard the reroll now? Ooh, he got rid of easy things. Ooh. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ten. Right? Three, five, six, seven, ten. So two, five, five, eight, nine. Yep, of course, this had to happen when I'm recording. <laughs> oh, it's so real. Alright. 
Okay. Um, there's no more no more dice out. Um, I can doubt. I can discard a doubt to. I'm not, I don't think I'll be able to play this to be honest. But right when I say that, yeah, I'm gonna discard a doubt. Three roll. Give me the damage. There you go. There's a three. Do one more. I got it, man. Thank you. It's 12 damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do three. I'm going to go ahead and discard. You know what? I'm going to take this. Get two more damage. And kill off Ezra. Play seven over there. I'm going to pay one. Go force solution down. And then I'm going to go ahead and pass. Give me rise again, baby. Come on. Nope. Bad day. Sad day. So I chose to put all in in this deck. I don't know exactly how it's going to fare. Uh, just because of uh, the possible other things that you're able to do at one time. Let's just say four speed and um, I don't know. Anything else that you can get, like a discard side. Being able to do all that for immediate damage is amazing. So he has three and he has enough to pay for all of it. He just rolled out and that's it. Um, so I can doubt one of them, or I can just feel your anger at. But no matter what, he can win. No, well, no. So I'm going to pay one to feel your anger. Discard a reroll. Oh, he's gonna discard a reroll all of it. Two blanks. Pay one. To feel your anger again. This one and this one. So I have a very nice chance of winning here. gonna pass um, roll in he could have easy pickings in his hand there's a three I win if he doesn't do it yep tight that gives me a huge advantage Um, let's see here. I'm gonna switch it up. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and I might want to keep that all in to be honest. No, I didn't get it. All right, so it truly depends on what he gets right now. Um, I have altar though, so that's gonna be very, very beneficial. I don't think he has another freaking upgrade though. See, Papa team. We roll zero. Are are you serious? Is there any way I can get done? No, probably not. I roll in. There it is. I would win right now. Yep. You just need one upgrade to win. The killer. Alright, I can actually still win right now. He did not get crap. Did 
Did this just happen, everybody? Did this just happen on a recording? Did this just happen? What you gonna do now? What you gonna do? This card to reroll. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Um, pay one. The all in. GG well played. GG well played, man. Here's four, here's another two, so that's... Six more damage on... Yeah, six more damage on top. Great game, man. Oh no, I made St. Bean as relief! Oh man, if he could table flip, I think he would've. Guys, I think we have, an, I think we have something here. I think we have Sabine Ezra Killer. Two times in a row. Twice in a row. Okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. You guys already know. Thank you so much uh, for uh, like, comment, subscribing. Uh, if you guys don't like it, please let me know what you don't like. Um, and I guess I'll catch you guys around on that next battlefield. Um, is it Tuesday yet? Have a good one, guys.